clear, clear. Oh, 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 my God, 70. What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the video today. Today we are going to be taking a look at my new Tesla. This is a 2022 Tesla Model 3 Performance and I want to give a huge shout out to Brenna, my girlfriend, for holding the camera. I really do appreciate it. But I just took delivery of this probably, I would say, a few hours ago and I'm going to have a separate video as well on the delivery process and order process. So if you want to check that out, I'll link it in the description if it's out already. But today what we're gonna be doing is taking a look at the car, going over all the features and stuff, and we're also going to be taking a drive, my first ever experience and a drive in a Model 3 Performance. I've never been in one of these. I, I've been in a long range, but not the Performance model. So we're gonna be doing that, and we'll also go over a quality check today and see how the quality is, because I know that is one thing that people were concerned about. They said that Tesla's quality isn't that good, um, so we'll be taking a look at that and going over a checklist today in today's video. All right guys, now I also just wanted to quickly say how I was able to get this Model 3. So with the car market, how it is right now, I was actually able to sell my previous Subaru STI for almost 40% more than what I originally bought it for. So I actually didn't have to pay that much more to get this. So right now with the car market, it's absolutely insane. And usually I would never recommend anybody to buy a new car, never. But for some odd reason right now with the car market, this was cheaper than buying a used one. It's ridiculous and this is my first new car ever. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. All right guys, so first off, the one thing you're gonna notice, I went with the black color. So this is the black color that I went with. Um, the reason why I went with black is I'm actually planning on wrapping this. Um, I do a lot of wraps myself, so I'm planning on wrapping it. So that's the reason why I went with black. If it does look a little dirty, I haven't cleaned it yet since it came off the transport truck because I did do home delivery. So just be aware about that. All right guys, so I did decide to go with the white interior. I just wanted that little extra unique touch and that's the one thing that makes Teslas a little bit unique is that they have the white interior available and that's something else that other car manufacturers don't all have available. So I had to go with the white interior. So the black paint, the white interior, and then the performance model actually comes with these, I'm pretty sure these ones are the 20 inch Uber turbine wheels. Um, I'm literally gonna have to put on my winter tires already because it's literally November, but I'm gonna try to enjoy these for as long as I can. So with the performance model, the 20 inch Uber turbine wheels, you also get, I'm pretty sure these are Brembo brakes on the Tesla. I'm pretty sure they are Brembo. All right guys, so in the front, nothing really has changed. Apparently there's some differences with the headlights for the 2022. Now also this is a 2022 model. It says it in my order document or whatever. It is a 2022 because I believe it was made right after November 1st of 2021. So this is an actual, I'm so thankful that I got a 2022 because I'm pretty sure it'll maybe up the value just a tiny bit because of that perception that it is newer. So now also guys, in terms of the headlights, these are actually, uh, apparently I, I'm not hundred percent sure. Don't go crazy if I'm not hundred percent sure, but I think these are called the new matrix headlights, but I'm pretty sure that bulb right there is new and I'm pretty sure it's ad adaptive, but I'm not hundred percent sure, but I know these are newer headlights from at least like the 2019 and 2018 and 2020 models, I'm pretty sure. But uh, either way, the headlights look absolutely amazing. I love how they're mostly black and they really go with the car. That's another thing that I really love about Tesla is the car looks so modern because everything is so like, instead of being chrome, like, well, they still have the chrome badges, but a lot of headlights are really chrome and they've got red and yellow things in them, but these look absolutely awesome. Now, another thing that I really, really like about the 2022, well, I believe they started doing it after 2020 or 2021, but it would be the matte black or satin black trim on everything. So uh, one of my friends actually has a 2019 Model 3 and it has the chrome 
and this is an improvement that they did and it looks absolutely amazing i love how it looks it makes it look a little bit more stealthy and overall i think it it just looks a little bit more modern and you also have the black door handles which is awesome they feel really good too so i love how those feel um those are awesome and then it even has the matte black on the camera here which is awesome and then as we head towards the back here the model 3 performance comes with this little carbon fiber lip on the trunk you know nothing crazy it is pretty small but i have heard about fitment issues on these but i'm not really seeing any issue when it comes to this one um in terms of the badges they're still chrome uh, here's the dual motor performance badge. It has the red line underneath it. So that does indicate that it is a performance model. And then if I do click under the trunk here, it's actually a power trunk now, which is awesome. So it is now officially a power trunk. So all you have to do actually is click this button right here and, or it, you can use it in the app too, but you click that button and it goes down. That is ridiculous that's awesome i've never had anything like that i know your mom's minivan probably has those features and closing doors but i've never had that on a car or anything so that's really awesome to see but other than that there's not much that has changed i, I don't think anything has changed when it comes to this car in the past since it came out in the rear it just still looks the same all right guys so once we open the door a few things that are new for the 2021 and two and i think late 2020 but uh we've got the dash trim it actually extends to the door panel now it never used to do that so that's really awesome that it extends um and then of course the new center console which is awesome that looks amazing um and then we also have the model 3 logo here but it's actually matte black so that's really awesome so it kind of matches the whole exterior that used to be chrome uh heated steering wheels with the new one as well but it looks really nice i'm gonna go ahead and open the front now brenna is actually using my phone to record so I can't open it from the app right now, but you can actually open it from the app. But here's the front. There we go. Now, I know that the newer models do have the heat pump, which is awesome. So that's better for the cold weather because we do live in the Northeast. Um, but yeah, so this is the front. It's really nice. It doesn't come with a soft anything down here, like a soft carpet. I know that I think the older models did, but it looks like there's actually a light over here, which is nice. Um, but overall, I mean, just having space up here is just a totally different thing, you know? And then apparently, I guess you're supposed to close this with two hands, so... Okay, there we go. All right, guys, so on the inside, like I was saying, it's got this super nice soft, like, suede or Alcantara uh, place to charge your phone. And then also, it has a really nice amount of storage. Like, this is ridiculous. Like this is just stupid amount of storage. And then you touch that and it goes back. Absolutely amazing. And then you've got more storage here as well, which is just ridiculous. Um, and then I still got the little screen uh, protector on it from the factory because I'm gonna actually put a, a screen protector on this. Um, but like I said, very nice on the screen. The dash is white here. And then the white seats are so white. Like, this is ridiculous how white they are. All right, guys, now another thing new with the newer models, this is actually magnet, which is pretty cool. Usually it's like clip on, but that's magnet, so that's awesome. Um, other than that, like I was saying, these seats are so clean. It did come, there were a few dirty smudges here and there from factory, from I don't know when they were installing it or something, but overall it looks great. Now you actually, to open the glove box, so you can lock and unlock the car here, open the charge port, trunk, frunk, but to open the, glo the glove box, all you have to do is click on the car and then right here, and then there's no actual physical button for the glove box. So I'm gonna have to get used to that because that's a little ridiculous, uh, but I'm sure I'll get used to it. So there's the glove box, but it makes it really nice and smooth because there's no like opening or anything for the glove box. So that's really cool. Um, 
also heated steering wheel. So apparently there is a heated steering wheel now, which is very, very nice. Uh, that is new, I think just in the past few months, which is awesome. And the rear seats are actually also heated, which is insane. My, my, my previous car had front heated seats, but these are actually heated. Uh, not only this one and that one, but the middle is heated too. So that's just ridiculous. That is absolutely insane that those are heated. Um, and they're just so white. It's ridiculous. It did come with floor mats. I didn't expect that as well. It did come with some sort of floor mats there. So that is not something that I expected it to come with. And then these are also still black on the back seats. But I also, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys the actual uh, fact sheet here. I will cover the VIN, but as you can see, this came with the car. This is like, it comes with all cars, uh, but basically date of manufacture was uh, November of 2021. And apparently once it hit November, it got to uh, be the 2022 model. So as you can see, here's everything I configured. So we've got the Model 3, Model 3 Performance, black paint, the Uber turbine wheels, and then the white interior. And it says rear heated seat enabled. So like I said, it seems like that's something new apparently. All right guys, so here is the trunk. Now I've got my backpack, my GPO backpack filled up with uh, some camera equipment and there's even more, what is this? This is so unique. I've never experienced anything like this before. <laughs> what? That's just ridiculous. I cannot believe there's more room under under the trunk this is just ridiculous and then the car also came with um a chrome license plate cover that should be matte black i'm not sure why it's chrome uh they should definitely start to do matte black ones and then this also came with it this is a front license plate holder um i actually got one that snaps on so you don't have to do any sticky stuff or screw or anything like this one um, so I won't be using this one, but it does come with a front and rear license plate, uh, bracket and cover. All right, guys. So now I wanted to go ahead and go over some quality stuff on the car. Cause like I said, the second I bought this car, I had people telling me, why would you buy it? Tesla's quality is terrible. I can tell you right now. Well, okay. I've only had Subarus. Okay. I think Subarus are pretty decent. All right. The base price of one of these, the standard range, was the same price as my Subaru STI brand new, but yet this feels miles ahead in quality. So, so far I'm having a really good experience with the car and it feels better quality than my Subaru STI. So I wanted to go over and check some things. So I printed out a checklist of some things to go over. So let's go ahead and go over these to make sure everything's looking good. I saw the first thing that we're going to check is panel gaps. So we're going to go ahead and look around the car and check for any panel gaps that are overly big or not really even. So one of the one things is actually on the trunk. Now, you know, my girlfriend was also message, uh, mentioning that this does look a little big, but let's check the other side. Yeah. Uh, I mean, this side doesn't have that little hose under but the gap looks reasonably the same, I would say, actually, from both sides. It looks about the same. Yeah, it looks it looks about the same. It's just that you can see, like, that hose in there somehow. Because on this side, it has that hose right there. So that's another, that's a big thing that people are always worried about when it comes to this. And then another thing is probably the tail lights I've heard about. These look pretty good. I mean, these look pretty good. And, and this is nothing that I would usually do. Like, it's so weird when it comes to Tesla. Like, if I bought a brand new Subaru or whatever, this is not something that I would usually worry about. But I guess, you know, Tesla. And, oh, also another thing is with the trunk, I know that my friend, when he got his Model 3, the trunk on this side was actually hitting the bumper and causing issues. So it's close. I mean, it's probably a quarter. I don't know. It, it's really close, but it is not hitting. It's not hitting the bumper, but it, I mean, it's a little close. I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah. I mean, it does not look like it's hitting here. 
Yeah, it doesn't look like it's hitting, but it is pretty close. We actually might be able to adjust it, I'm pretty sure. So we might be able to adjust that. Of the carbon fiber spoiler or the little lip here on the trunk, it's looking pretty good. I saw a whole bunch of issues about these needing to be replaced, but mine does look pretty good. I mean, overall the fitment on it is not bad at all. What we'll have is actually the trims not being perfect. I mean, these look pretty good to me. Yeah, I mean, this is flush. I'm not seeing really any issues when it comes to the trim. I saw something about the door handles not being flush. Mine seem to be pretty good. Now, there are some micro scratches on the car. Um, you know, there's something here, but this actually is coming off with me just touching it. So I'll be, know that I'll be able to fix that. But like, right here there's a whole bunch of little micro scratches i know this will come off i don't know if he you know somebody rubbed their legs up against it or something but i know that'll come off with a simple buff i'm not gonna take my car all the way to the tesla dealer to fix something like that because it's so small and i know that i can buff that out myself and then there is a little bigger scratch here but i can't actually feel it with my fingernail so i know it's not that deep um there's another like i said it looks like there is m multiple and yet again i don't know if you buy any brand new car other than i don't know a porsche or something that it'll come completely perfect i don't know if any car will come without tiny tiny scratches um you know i do expect perfection for buying a brand new car, but at the same time. Now, another thing that they said is the front hood, but I mean, this fitment looks pretty gosh darn perfect. I'm gonna be honest with you. I mean, actually, it's, oh my goodness. I mean, that is a little insane. The front bumper and the fender are so close that they're actually almost rubbing up against each other. I mean, that's a little close for comfort, but I mean, I'm not seeing an issue with it. Now, in terms of the front headlights, those look pretty good as well. I'm not seeing much of an issue with that. Um, and then a quick rundown of this side. This side looks really well, good as well with the trim. Fitment looks good on that. And then let's go ahead and check around the wheel area. So. Uh, actually, this liner is actually popping out a little bit, but you know, this liner is popping out a little bit, but I know that I can just push that right in. That's not a big deal. You know, that's not something that I would go to service for or anything, but let's go ahead and take a look at the wheel. So these wheels, let's check for any curb rash or anything. Overall, they look good. They're not the cleanest right now, but I'm not seeing any chips or anything really bad with the, this wheel. So let's go ahead and check out the front one right here. Um, yeah, so this one looks good as well. I'm not seeing any issues when it comes to this one. The liner looks good as well, feels good. I'm not seeing any issues with that. So this one looks pretty good. However, I do see a little tiny scratch up here, but I mean, it is so small that I'm not even going to worry about it. And then the final rear right wheel. Um, this one looks good as well. I mean, I, I've heard of people have getting these and they're curb rashed from getting delivered, but this one looks great. Uh, no issues. The liner looks good as well. So overall, I mean, it's looking really good on the exterior. I'm not seeing any issues. Uh, when the car was actually delivered it was delivered on a truck so i could actually see under the car a little bit before i got it so i was able to see if there was any issues under the car as well which is very rare to get a look at but so overall the exterior looks good it looks really good i mean i don't see any issues at all let's go ahead and take a look at the interior and see if anything's wrong there all right guys so the number one most important thing is to make sure our G Fuel shaker fits in the cup holder. So here we go. Let's see, let's see. 
absolutely perfect. Look at that. Absolutely perfect fit. Wow. Okay, Tesla, I see. They must have tested uh, the Elon flavor to make sure it fit first. So that is an A-plus right there. Let's go ahead and take a look at everything. Number one thing that I was worried about. I heard that some of the 2022 models were coming without wireless charging. I already tested that. It works. So that's good. They were also not coming with USB ports back here. You might not be able to see them, but there are USB-C ports there. So I do have those, thank goodness. Um, but I did hear some people getting the 2022 models wasn't coming with USB ports. So that was not, I was not excited about that. But um, other than that, everything looks great in here. The seats were a little dirty, maybe from the delivery guy or, you know, someone who was putting it together, putting the car together, who knows. But most of the little dirty stuff here, or if there's anything up here on the headliner, that actually cleaned off just fine. So no worries there. Everything feels good, you know. And I just want to say, like, closing this and just feeling this, it feels so solid. And that's another thing. You know, people were talking about quality and stuff, but this feels miles ahead of the, my Subaru. But my Subaru was priced around the same price. So it's just ridiculous um, that people were talking about quality with these because right now, this looks insane. It looks perfect, it feels perfect, and it feels super, super high quality. Oh, and then also something that I totally forgot about is the double thick glass. I literally totally forgot about that. So these, I'm pretty sure they're called double pane or dual pane glasses, glass, but they're some original glass from Tesla and they're twice as thick and they have some sort of something in the middle to make it more quiet in the interior compared to the older models. So there's less wind noise, but they look absolutely amazing. So really nice to have that on the front windows. I don't think it's on the rear, no, or is it? No, it's not on the rear window. So only the front windows have the double thick glass. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So I think that's about it for taking a look at it. Um, you know, obviously there's a million features and a million things that I could talk about in terms of the display and all that stuff. I don't think I'm gonna go over all of that today, but in terms of the car, the quality, everything looks great. So I think the next thing that I'm gonna do is I am going to go ahead and we're gonna take it for a test drive for my the first time ever. I haven't touched the throttle. I don't know how it's gonna feel. So we're gonna take it for a test drive and see how different the Model 3 performance feels compared to other Teslas. Cause I have been in a long range without the performance boost. So we're gonna see if this is a pretty big difference compared to that. For my first drive, I'm going to head to the supercharger because they delivered it on only 40% battery and I don't want to get my first driving experience with a lowish battery because it won't be putting out the full power. So I'm actually going to go to a supercharger for the first time ever. We're going to plug it in uh, and then I'm going to get my first reaction on camera. I will have another video with some reactions of, you know, my friends and family and Brenna and stuff, but she has an appointment so she can't be here for the first drive, but we're gonna go ahead and head to the supercharger and I will show you guys there and show you guys when I get there and plug it in and see how it charges. So let's go ahead and head there. All right guys, first ever time at the supercharger. I'm gonna back up a little bit more here. Reverse. Okay, park. All right. Ugh. Thank you. 
All right, here we go. So what do I do? Press this. That doesn't seem to work, so I guess I have to push in. Okay, there we go. And then, there, I think. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Wow, look at that, dude. Oh my God. Sheesh. Okay, let's check inside, see what's going on here. Oh boy. All right, what do we got going on in here? Um, okay, what am I, what percent am I like charging at here? So I'm guessing that's 100, that's 90, what is this, 50 maybe? Yeah, I'm guessing that's 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Let's try to go to 90 if we can. Looks like 35 minutes maybe for 90. We're getting 145 kilowatts. 562 miles per hour. I thought this was a 250 kilowatt station. I'm not 100% sure, but I don't know. There is absolutely nobody else here. You know, I thought maybe these would have a lot of people or something, but you know, especially with the busy highway here, but there is literally no one else here, dude. Man, look at this, dude. This thing just looks so good, man. Look at man these are probably the best looking stock rims i think i've ever seen i mean the sdi rims look really good stock but these just look an, another level we installed the clip-on license plate here seems to be holding up pretty well wow a lot of smudges on the black paint already but it's looking good she's looking good man Another look at the white interior right now. Oof. Man, <laughs> it's so nice. Hmm, shall we try something? I've never done this before. Play game. Do not use gear stock or accelerator pedal while playing. The vehicle's front wheels will move when you turn the steering wheel during the game controls. Keep the area around the front of the wheels clear. What? Whoa. What? Oh my god, what the hell? Another Tesla that just pulled up, but theirs is without the Uber turbines in it. Man, it just makes such a big difference with the performance wheels. All right, guys, here we go. I'm in the car. We're going to go to the settings here. Driving, sport acceleration, sport steering. First genuine time using this, all right? Like I said. The fastest car that I've ever driven is probably my friend's Model 3 Long Range 2019, 0 to 60 in 4.5 seconds at the time. This one is 0 to 60 in 3.1 seconds. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is, I am, I'm nervous. I don't, I, okay, so I don't know if it's going to be like, oh, you know, that's a little bit faster than his, or holy crap, this is a lot faster, or holy moly, make my butt cheeks rolly. I don't know what's about to happen, ladies and gentlemen, but you're about to be with me when it happens. All right, here we go. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, we'll see. I mean, it, it's not no plaid, but, uh, you know, 0 to 60 and 3.1 is pretty nutty. So, oh, dude, I'm literally like, I don't know what to expect here. So hopefully I don't get pulled over. I'm going to wait until everything's clear on this side. And once we get out here, I'm not going to do a dead stop, but I'm going to hit it. Dude, why am I like flipping biscuits right now? All right, so we're clear. No cops, no nothing. All right, here we go. Oh, holy shit! What the fuck? Oh my god, my STI was so slow. My STI was so slow. Oh my god. Oh my god. I looked. I've never felt. I, the, the car lifted up. It, it like, the car like went like this. What? Oh my god. Holy sh... Holy crap. The, I, when I looked down, I was at 70. Um, hello. All right, let's, uh... 
Um, make sure everything is clear. We're at a stoplight. Uh, everything's still recording, and we're going to hit it. Uh, let's... Okay, I don't see any cops or anything. I think we're good. Oh, my God. Like it makes any noise or anything. All right, are you guys ready? Holy crap. Looking clear. I want to make sure nobody's going to cut out in front of us when we hit the juicer. <laughs> my heart is literally flipping a biscuit right now. Oh, my God. Clear, clear. Clear, clear. Oh, 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 my God. 70. What the shit? What the shit? What the shit? I'm literally scared. Oh my god, that is stupid. Why is... Oh my god. Why is that even needed? Why is that needed? I don't even want to know what the plaid is like. I don't even want to know what the plaid is like. Oh, and it's so quiet. No one knows you're doing anything. It's so quiet. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh my god. Oh! Holy shit. Oh my god. Alright, speed limit's 20 miles, on, 20 miles an hour up here. We gotta, you know, keep it under 20. Wow. That is miles that is milesly uh, insanely different compared to um the model 3 long range i thought you know what everyone was like you know just go with the long range you know it's basically the same um yeah i don't think so holy shite what um, what? That is, uh, yeah. We're in a school zone, so we're not gonna go fast here, but... Oh my god, guys. This thing is so dumb. This thing is so ridiculous. Holy... Man. Everybody needs to drive one of these at one point in their life, guys. This thing is truly ridiculous it's just so dumb it's so dumb because it's like i put so much money into my wx sti and i love that car and i'm gonna miss the sound i saw another sti while i was driving this and i was like man i'm gonna miss the sound but that little thought in my head that's like man you know this thing is so fast it makes me realize it's like i can't believe the amount of money that i put into the sti and it didn't even get close to being as fast as this it's just ridiculous. Let's do a rolling 15. Oh! Oh my God! The second that I have time to look down, it's already at 60. I, the, it's like, when I have time to look down at the speed, it's 60. It's just ridiculous. Oh, holy shit. Man, this is crazy. Man. I gotta be careful, man. I'm, I'm going, I gotta be careful. I'm going 60 and I don't even realize it, dude. Oh my God. This thing is ridiculous. Oh my God. Oh my God. There goes my battery. I mean, I did the same in the STI, I guess. I was always punching it in there. And I, you know, I was always punching it in the STI. I wonder how the... I don't know if I can feel a difference in the steering. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to see if I can feel a difference in the steering compared to when it was in comfort mode. Let me drop it in comfort mode. Driving comfort. Whoa, whoa, what the hell? Hold on. Oh, oh yeah, there's definitely a difference. It's like heavier, sluggy-ish without the sport steering. It's 
just so ridiculous that you're totally quiet, but yet you're able to do that. Like, all right, I want to try some, see how the handling is on some roads here. Definitely has a little bit more body roll compared to the STI. Um, you know, but it's still insane. You know, like it's just insane. Man, this thing is ridiculous. And this is the stiffer tires on right now. You know, I saw a lot of people saying, oh, you know, with the with the performance wheels, it's just way too stiff. I'm coming from an STI with lower profile tires. So to me, this is already the smoothest freaking ride ever. So th yeah, this is insane. Oh my God, dude. Oh my God. Man, this is cool, dude. Holy. God damn, baby. This is insane. Oh my God, guys. This thing is so cool. Oh, I cannot wait to give some people some rides in this, man. It is just ridiculously fast. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Please keep your hands and feet inside the vehicle at all times. <laughs> we reached 78! Did, did you see it lift up? <laughs> no, my brain was focused on surviving. Whoa! <laughs> that is fabulous. Oh my god. Should like turn around and do it again, or maybe just from this. Oh, we actually, we have a red light, so we can go <laughs> again. It literally makes my. It heart makes your heart. I know. Get nervous. Oh, don't put your grandparents in here. <laughs> <laughs> and their hearts might give out. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> I can't not gasp, Joe. <laughs> Oh my god, the guy's like, let me get out of here. <laughs> the funny thing is, I don't think anyone knows how fast we're going. Mm -hmm. I don't think anybody knows. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I think that is going to be it. Um, I'm just about home now. I'm going to start actually doing some stuff for installing accessories and washing it and ceramic coating it and stuff like that and just doing those first mods that I need to do, install mud flaps and stuff like that. So, guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and I just want to say thank you so much for everybody. Like, this is insane, okay? Like, what little i i okay i literally did not think i would ever partner with g fuel i never thought that i would get sponsored by control freaks i never thought that i would get sponsored by g fuel i i thought that i would get maybe an old wrx sti when i was 40 like three just three four years ago i was like maybe if i save enough i'll be able to afford an older wrx sti when i'm like 40 or something and I'm 21 and I've got this insanely stupid Tesla like this is so ridiculous and just thank you everybody it is literally I just I cannot believe it this thing is so awesome and I'm just so excited to begin the process of modding this and everything it's just gonna be awesome now I also wanted to let you guys know uh, when it comes to like modding it, I'm not going to wrap it until the spring because it's getting too cold too fast and it'll just be, and some of the wrap, the wrap that I want to wrap it in isn't actually available for another few months. So 
I'm just gonna ceramic coat it, do some paint protection film, a few things like that here and there for the winter. Um, and the winters really aren't that bad down here in Southern New Hampshire. They're so much worse up in Northern Vermont where I used to live, so. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna get this thing all ready. You know, I've got my winter tires already ready. Uh, my STI winter rims, uh, and tires, those are the same lug pattern. So those are gonna fit right onto here. So that's awesome. So I don't have to buy winter tires or anything for this. Um, so I'm really, really excited about that. But anyways, guys, I will keep you updated with all the mods, all the accessories, everything that we're doing to this car, uh, future mods that I have planned. I already actually ordered a custom steering wheel. That's the first thing that I wanted. I was like, uh, I'm deciding that I'm putting off all exterior modifications until spring. So I'm going to do some interior mods. So the first thing on the list is going to be a custom steering wheel. So super, super excited about that. But I will keep you guys updated with everything that we do to this and all the mods and the whole process and everything. So thank you yet again for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I really, really, really do appreciate it. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. I just... Oh, man. You know, the one thing that I have to say to people that are doing YouTube or doing anything is, like, literally, you have to be a psycho and never stop. Like, literally. There were many times when I wanted to give up doing YouTube, give up doing anything, and you just can't give up. Like, I started making videos years before high school, and then... All throughout high school, literally, I stayed up till 3 a.m. after I did my homework making videos and streaming during high school. Like, and now a few years after high school, this is where I am. And I just, you guys, you cannot give up. Like, literally, it, it, oh, you, it's just insane. So, you can't give up, ladies and gentlemen, on what you really want. Like, you just can't. So, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. I will keep you guys updated on everything when it comes to the Tesla. Let me know what you guys think about this. Thank you for watching, and peace out, ladies and gentlemen. Use code SHOCK on G Fuel. You guys know what's up, baby. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.